Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Farm Sim again. Uh, we are here on No Man's Land. This is a newer map that came out maybe maybe like a week ago, two weeks, five weeks, who knows. I'm so far behind on all my Farm Sim stuff, uh, but whatever. We are here tonight, and we are going to uh, buy a plot of land and start a farm and kind of hopefully try to be successful. We're doing starting from scratch mode, okay? Now, there are people out there that complain about, well, you got a million dollars, so it's not really starting from scratch, but that's the way the game made it. So if they say that the million dollars I'm starting with is starting from scratch, then that's starting from scratch. So we are in the start from scratch mode on Farm Sim. Uh, this is not a rags to riches series necessarily, but it kind of will be because there's nothing on the map. Um, if you look at the map, it's just a bunch of empty squares. The only sell point we have right now is here at the uh, dealership. And we have to kind of stay within those uh, constraints uh, for the time being. We have no fields, no nothing. Um, I am looking and I've been walking around. I'd like to be close to the shop because the shop has the repair. The shop also has our sell point, and the shop is where we're going to be getting and renting our equipment. If we need to rent equipment, we can get it there, and if we're going to be buying equipment, we can buy it there, and we want to be close. Uh, so my thought is that this plot right here, 55, looks great, and eventually 56, these two plots right here are probably, probably where we're going to want to have our farm. How's it going, Patchwork? Nice to see you. You're not delayed. I just am. What's up, Captain Zink? New farm. Who dis? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and buy. We're going to go ahead and buy field number whatever that was, 55, 56, something like that. And uh, what's up, Big Hunts? All right, so uh, this is the default plot that the when you play the game with New Farmer, it just gives you that. But we're going for the hard mode. So we're going to X lands, and we're going to buy this. Yep, 85000 Every plot of land is $85,000. There we go. Uh, so my idea is to build our equipment sheds and house and stuff here and maybe like keep the middle of this kind of where we put our stuff. So we're going to actually blank this out with uh, dirt for now and we'll make it nicer as we go. But uh, hey, what's up, Adam? And uh, I think we're going to turn this into two fields, really. Yeah, that looks good. That plot of land next to us looks good, too, but it's pretty hilly. Um, so I just want to... What's up, Cheese Migrator? That was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> but I guess, you know what? If we don't want to raise that, I want to keep this flat. So that's screwing everything up. Um, I need my sculpting menu. So we're going to do smooth as well. Flatten. That's what I want. That's what I was trying to do this whole time. We're going to flatten all this out. Back up to here. So like I said, we're going to make two separate fields. I don't think we can get... Oh, we are pushing those rocks. Look at that. Didn't think you could do that, but... Anyway, I want to kind of make a nice flat depression there. How's it going, Bin Pin? That cost us a ton of money. We're going to go to painting. And so that's going to be... How do we change that? Uh, change mode is, I think, start. Don't forget you can remove trees by and stone by chainsaw a sign. Oh, by chainsawing a sign? Okay. Which we are going to do. Or we can just chainsaw. I want to leave the stone, though. I don't want to change that. So um, ground type. This is going to cost us a fortune. Unfortunately, this is going to cost us some money. But that's all right. So we're going to make this all dirt here. I'm not going to go all the way back with it just to save some dollars because obviously look how much money we're going through. We're blowing through cash right now. And we need money for equipment. So we're going to grow wheat and barley and maybe some grass because I want to do cows. Um, hey, Mr. Stillior, how's it going? All right, so there we go. And I think he's talking, the sign you're talking about, I know the sign that you're talking about, it's over there somewhere, so. They're somewhere on the map. I would imagine each plot uh, pretty much has one, but I don't know for sure. So, yeah, so I've had some interesting health issues over the last couple of days. I woke up on Saturday with some weird bumps on my head. 
Um, oh, heck no, I'm not doing it. What, were you kidding? Are you nuts? Seasons? H how would you even survive this with seasons? <laughs> Nightmare. Uh, no, I pretty much don't like the season. I'm not a huge seasons fan, so I never do seasons. Uh, I've done it maybe. I have one map I think I'm running with seasons, but I don't love it. So, What's up, Action? How's it going? I have other games that I play that have better implementation of months and years in them, and so I just don't, uh, I don't know. It would definitely be an interesting challenge. That's a good way to put it, the kind way to put it. <laughs> a challenge that I'm not too interested in. Um, small tractors. I want to see what we got in mods. How many horsepower is that? 58. That ain't going to cut it. 90. What does this go up to? 90. I think for now we're going to be leasing equipment because I just don't think we're going to have the income to bring stuff in. 125. That's it. It's only starting tomorrow. Man, we've been at shelter at home all week. <laughs> They're a little behind, but then again, it's Arizona, so there's like not – well, I mean, there's in the cities there's a ton of people, but when you're out in the middle of nowhere – now this takes place in England. Everything they can, if you look at the traffic on the main road, they're driving on the left side of the road. So, uh, we can go with European tractors and that kind of stuff. Um, you said need mods, lol. <laughs> you have the rest of the year off, yeah, for school, I bet. Uh, what do we got here? 155 horsepower. How much is that to lease? Four thousand bucks to lease. See, the downside is we have so much prep work to do, but um, I feel like it's probably still better to um, to rent. 155. Tragic stuff happened to your bot. What? Your bot? Yep, yeah, we're going to see how this goes, godly devil. What's up, Kevin? How's it going? So we're going to rent this New Holland. I just bought it. <laughs> okay, we're going to buy this New Holland tractor. Shoot, I screwed up. Your Discord bot, oh. Well, this is a nice tractor anyway, but wow, I didn't mean to buy it. Uh, well, definitely the calendar year. Uh, animal care and uh, that kind of stuff is better. Farm Expert is an interesting game. It feels more like a real farm. It's less about grinding equipment and more about growing your farm. Um, so, I mean, definitely watch my videos on it. But I really, I really like the um, like Farm Expert and how it handles some of these things. Hang on, with three hundred, nope, one fifty, we can do this one, and we're gonna lease this. Yep. Um, so, Farm Expert. I'm trying to think of things that are better. One. Um, and that was back versus FS17. Uh, it had a better in-the-cab view. It, had, it still, to this day, has functioning uh, computers inside the tractor that show you um, things like, uh, um, like you can see like a backup cam, so you can look. It actually looks behind you and shows you what your implement is doing. Um, the all the gauges work, including the RPM gauge and all that stuff, and it actually has gearing. Um, so you have the tractors actually shift gears and you can even set it into an advanced mode where you control what gear it's in. So you can actually shift the gears in the tractor. Uh, you can run it in like one ABCD, two ABCD, three ABCD and four ABCD. Um, unless you get a tractor that's a, um, they have two different types. What do they call it? The power shift or whatever. And then our CVT, uh, CVVT or whatever. And then they have the regular, um, so you can switch between transmissions. Um, once again, it's an annual calendar. So you start in May, I think, or either March or May, and then you um, you end in October, and you have that much time to get all your stuff together. So um, those are the things that I like about it. Um, it. Like I said, the calendar year is much more realistic. You can skip through, but it has... Uh, you know, uh, the weather prediction was better. Uh, the rain actually makes a difference. You get stuck in the mud and stuff when it's rainy. Um, what else? I mean, there's just a ton of stuff. Yeah, like you can actually maintain different parts of the equipment. Yep, like you can fix the engine. You can fix the electrics. You can fix the, the body. 
So, I mean, it just it has a lot of things that Farm Sim just doesn't have. Um, no, yeah, that's right. We're telling that story, too. Uh, no, so I, it's, they've been getting worse and worse. I haven't gotten any more. Well, maybe one on my ear. But I've been having these weird bumps. So I, I took it to one doctor, and he said that um, it's not, though. It's done in a way that's easy to understand, Snoop Dogg. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting how they did it. It's, it's, like, accessible and yet complicated at the same time. But it's, it's, it's still more game-like than Farm Sim. But I don't know. You just watch some of my videos on it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, it does have some cheat modes, which would be the uh, when you, once you buy the uh, greenhouse you're going to make a lot of money and that that's how you pay for everything else uh, we're going to wow, allow create fields and we're going to do this so um, so no I've got these weird bumps so today I woke up and not only were the bumps still there but they're getting wor like more and more painful uh, I don't have access to this land oh the the marker's here okay let's try again so, and they are starting to really, really hurt. So I called a doctor from church and he's like, send me some pictures. So I sent him pictures of what's going on. And um, he said, um, he said, well, uh, it looks to me like it possibly could be, um, what do you call that? It's the chicken pox for adults. Um, uh, I can't think of it. <laughs> Uh, what is that called? Not scales. Uh, dang it. Somebody help me out, please. <laughs> Where's my wife when I need her? We're going to go around this here. Shingles. Thank you. Yes, no, shingles. Uh, so he said it looks, they, they look like they, it's probably shingles. I think we're going to make two fields here. Actually, three. What was I thinking? Wait a minute. Let me look at this again. Because this is going to go around here. We'll have enough room for a field back there, I guess. Small one. Um, so, yes. Uh, he said it looks like those do look like shingles. He said it's odd that it's on your head and not on your body. Usually shingles is like on your chest and stuff. But he's like, they really do look like shingles. So, I'm like, okay. So, he, gave, he got me a prescription and said, you know, go ahead and take these. See what happens, you know. And so, I, I got the prescription today and... Um, yeah, I, I, man, it is, I'll tell you what, man, they hurt. My head hurts. I was like, I didn't know if I was going to be able to stream tonight. I'm like, I, I'm going to, and, you know, Moni's like, dude, you just got to push through it. Like, just do it. I'm like, all right. But that's where I was all day. That's why I didn't stream today. I was taking care of that. So it was weird. So anyway, last night I woke up and I had a fever. Like I took a, I took a little nap at like eight o'clock and I woke up at nine and I was feverish. And, um. I know, Snoop Dogg, it is annoying. Oh, that's another thing that you do in Farm Expert. When you actually plow a map, the map updates and shows you the, uh, the status of the field via map. <laughs> so the map actually shows you, like, the status of the field. You can see it plowed and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm not happy right now. I'm, I'm, I'm in a lot of pain. Like, my head really hurts. They feel like, okay, so this is how I can explain it. You know, like, when you have a zit that's, that really needs to be popped right now, that's what it feels like. It is painful. Uh, it feels like somebody's pushing on that zit, and that is the pain that I'm having all over the side of my head. So, uh, could be, but it's a, I mean, it is a bacterial infection. So, I probably picked it up somewhere. I don't know where because I've not been touching anybody or anything with all this virus stuff, but whatever. But I, uh, I was stressed out a little bit too when I had company. So, um, this map looks like a static image, not dynamic. Interesting. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, okay, so I need to back this way a little bit. Yeah, pretty much. It's designed by the person that makes the map, and then that's it. Okay, so there's the there's the line. Uh, actually, maybe we'll leave that back section grass, so that we can, uh, if we decide to put, I'd like to put like a little cow pen in, little cow pen. Um, we're probably going to have to take that loan out. I don't see how we're going to get everything we need without doing a loan. So anyway, it's been kind of a painful 24 hours. I've been, you know, not sleeping well and just in pain. Um, and this whole not being able to work thing has made me a little bit stressed out. So maybe that's why I'm stressed. But um, anyway, yeah, so it's been interesting. Uh, <laughs> 
But then my mother-in-law looked at it, and she's like, those look like ant bites now. And granted, the ants are out. It's spring. And I have had ants in my room. So it could be ant, an ant bite. So I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, that's horrible, Muddy. I've got hydrocortisone, but there's not much you can do for it, so... No, it's hilarious, Snoop. <laughs> that sucks, Muddy. Thanks, Osa. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be back on a uh, normal schedule tomorrow. We'll have a stream during the day and a stream at night. Maybe more. We'll see. But, yeah, I just for the last, I'm like, I know. Ouch. Uh, so, yeah. Not happy. Not a happy camper right now. But whatever. It's life. At least I don't have a, uh, at least I don't have a fever tonight, you know. Oh, no problem, Marine bro. How's it going? Hey, what's hey Rufus? <laughs> what's up, Jer? Yeah, so I've been also been um, playing Animal Crossing like crazy. Uh, I haven't used my wheel on farm sim for like three years, dude. <laughs> Since about halfway through seventeen. <laughs> uh, yeah. I never do. Now, I use it for all of my um, truck stuff, you know, and, and uh, my summer car. But I just, it's so much easier to use the controller with the with um, the tractor. I can lean back in my chair. I can relax. And What's up, Dice Fiend? Yep, Animal Crossing. No, I don't thankfully have the sickness. I've got a different sickness. Yeah, no, I gave up on the steering wheel thing a long time ago. Now, the question is this. Does it look like it's killing those bushes? or Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It looks like they're going away, so that's good. You should feel a slight burn. That's so funny. Is my weight down? On, oh, my weight is down on the ground. Look at that. Thank you, Oso. <laughs> I didn't see that. Thank you all. So we're really going to have to try to find ways to make money on this map that we don't conventionally do. Um, one of my thoughts was to uh, get some cows going and then do greenhouses. They've given us some built-in greenhouses for, um, for this map. So I might do that, like do a small cow pen and then do some greenhouses. Um, You've had that issue before, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering. It could be ant bites. I, I like I said, um, there were a couple ants in over the weekend, and every spring we do get ants in the house. But flat map, yeah, that's the other one that's like this. Yeah, I don't know, cause I do overkill on everything. <laughs> What's up, Donkey Carmen? I figured I'd be using other things too that are going to be. But, yeah, you're right. This is overkill. Now, I don't know if you guys saw Sandy Bay came out. Uh, Moni was driving around on it today, and it looks really good. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a series on that one or not. I'm going to kind of maybe leave that to her. I, I've i done Sandy Bay twice before, and I'm kinda, I love the map, but I'm kind of over it at this point. So I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. But So our big thing is to gonna, our, uh, more than milk, I want our cows to produce manure so that we have um, fertilizer for our greenhouses. And we'll see, I might have to look and see if there's a small cattle pen mod out there that we can use. But we're definitely gonna have to buy a chainsaw and chainsaw some of these trees down. But the, so how's everybody doing out there? Anyone else got the coronavirus? I hope we get to hear from Taylor tonight and see how he's doing. I know he he was in the hospital, um, so wasn't doing well. Hopefully he's doing better and feeling better. Um, so what we're doing, Donkey Carmen, this map is called No Man's Land, uh, and it comes basically with nothing. You basically have to set the whole map up. Now, if um, 
if you uh, go into the map and um, on easy mode, they do give you some tractors and a plot of land. So um, that's pretty cool. But wife is still sucking Barbados. Okay, that sucks. Gosh, Captain Mac. I mean, she's stuck in paradise, but they're probably lot in lockdown, aren't they? <laughs> like, oh, crap, I'm stuck in Barbados. I wish I was stuck in Barbados. <laughs> Middle of April. Yeah, we are actually. Yeah, they're well. They're saying now they want to do the this uh, shelter at home thing until the end of until the end of April. I don't know what's going to happen to my business. Uh, I mean, we'll still be in business, but and I guess the good news is, as soon as people need me, I'm available. But I just don't know how that's going to work out. So now I don't know, Patrick. The last time we talked to him was Friday night. That's why I want to hear from him and see how he's doing because I don't know. There he is, Tayloa. We're worried about you, my friend. How are you doing? Hopefully things are going well in the hospital and you're feeling better. We don't even need the map on right now. Got a lot of plowing to do. But I'm glad to see you, man. Really? Well, I'll try it. Oh, you're back home tonight. Good. Good, good, good. Are you feeling any better? Like, does it seem like it's over with now? Or you think I can file an employment? Email? I'll try and see if I can. Now, I don't really pay taxes the way most people do. I don't have, um, what do you call it? I don't pay through payroll, so I'll have to look into it, Osa. I may not be able to because of that, but I expect the peak at the end of April. Well, I'm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the stimulus check's coming soon, hopefully. That should help. I do have a little bit of money in the bank, but, and I talked to uh, Wells Fargo today and I told them that, you know, what happened, what happened with my job and business, and they're like, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. You know, we'll, we'll give you three months, you know, of no pay, and then you can pick it up when, it's, when, you, when it starts again. So still not 100%, but much better. Good, 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 good. Uh, I'll tell you what, man, I'm hurting. So, yeah, so anyway... <laughs> Um, I, I will check and see if I can. Um, I guess I can lay myself off from my business, can't I? Oh, my God, with the stimulus check. <laughs> I don't think that that's how we're supposed to spend it. I don't, I, it's your money, but... <laughs> Gosh, I wish I was in a position. I, I wish I could just take my stimulus check and order, like, a new video card. Though I don't really need, you know, honestly, aside from maybe Star Citizen, the games that I play don't really require it, that I have a new video card. I'm still 1080p, and I can't. I don't really have editing software that can handle 4K. There, editing software in general has a terrible time with 4K. So even Indiana isn't turning people down for unemployment. <laughs> Uh, well, nobody else would, right? This is aerial photographer. There we go. <laughs> uh, that's a long way away, man. Are we essential or non-essential, too? That's the other question. Well, there you go, Big big Ron. Got to keep the bacon on the table. Farming Lunatic, welcome to the channel. I think I'm going to put... Uh, all right, so for those of you on YouTube, we're going to come back to you. We're going to stay on Twitch, but we'll be back. There we go. Well, we've done quite a bit of work here on this field, and it's it's a lot bigger, like I said, than I thought it was going to be, so this is good. We'll get some decent crop, but I don't think crop's going to be our moneymaker. I, I, I really – what do you guys think about pigs? You know, I think maybe pigs would be the way to go instead of cows because I'm not – once again, I'm not really looking to sell milk. And I think pigs make a lot of manure. Which do you guys think makes more, cows or pigs? What? That's weird. Can't you just call your bank and tell them to turn it off? What's up, Domina? You like the pigs? Alpacas. <laughs> that was not one of my... Really? The pigs are more profitable? Huh. 
Okay. Not the mobile version for laptops. Okay. Yeah, and that's even more powerful. Yeah. That I don't know unless the drive is going bad, so. The pigs would be the go the go to you feel on this map. Eh, well that maybe that maybe that'll be how we do it then. I think the pig pen is a little bit smaller than the cow pen, so that would be good. And they take, we can feed them like we could do. We'll have to look and see what crops they need. I don't think I'll be able to give them a root crop because I'm not definitely not going to be able to afford like all the potato harvesting and stuff. But um, sixteen fifty, okay, that's a decent card. What's up, Mister Enigma? Good entry level card and good for good for gaming at. I think probably farm sim you could play at uh, high settings. With seasons, they breed like crazy. Interesting. Well, I could feed them corn and grain. Um, yeah, we could try pigs. We'll call this pig farm. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. That That's weird that it's asking you to keep redoing it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, there you go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and cut this down. Once again, though, we've only got three trees so far that we've had to remove. We need to look at the pig food requirements. I'm kind of interested in that. So, yeah, see? And that's, yeah. So a 1060 is, or 10, uh, 1650 is... Definitely fine. In real life, pig make, pig, piggy make more manure. So we're going to have to have a crop with straw. And we're going to have to have a crop. I'm probably going to have to cut this in half to move it. Ah. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab that Massey and we're going to rent another tool here once we. Let's grab this and. Beep, beep. We're going to grind those stumps. Do, 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 do. Wheat or barley. Yeah, so we'll do some wheat, some canola, and some corn. I think my son might be coming up the stairs because the dogs all add attention. They require more cleaning. Well, I did, I think I did. No, I didn't get arms on that one, did I? Does this have arms on it? No. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Sweet. Let's cut this stumpy down, and then I'm going to... Yep, I got a 1660 sitting in my computer that I can't use on the other computer. <laughs> I might lift it. I might just carry it over. Um, we'll see how the other side looks. But uh, anyway, I feel like um, oh, I see what you're saying, Osa. Like the pig food uh, mixers, I might have loaded that. Actually, I have the mod. Whoops, that's not what I want wanted to do. Whoops. All right, so let's go ahead and move this off onto the plowed section of the field. Can you take him potty, Rai Rai? And maybe throw him some food. If not, that's fine. I'll feed him when I'm done. So do we have the strength to pick this up? There can be only one. 
We'll have to see how much the pig food mixers cost. Uh, but we could keep leasing the Massey because it's only a couple hundred bucks. Or we could just, we could just, you know, sometimes I wonder if loaning is cheaper because if you loan the money and buy the equipment versus lease it, especially something like the Massey, if we do pigs, we're going to have to feed them every day. So um, toss the caber. That's right. Good old Scottish games. Um, hmm. Like, it might be cheaper just to take a loan out and buy them. Or, I mean, we have the money to buy it now, but if we have to go into loan territory, I guess is what I'm saying. If we're paying $1,000 a day to rent the equipment, wouldn't it maybe be cheaper just to buy it outright and lo or loan the money and buy it? Because the loan is only going to be a couple thousand dollars a day, and then you own it. I don't know. So they drop corn. Oh, interesting. So maybe it'd be, if we only do a little bit of corn, they'll kind of recycle it because they make they make corn as they make a mess. Right? What's up, Ray? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, go big or go home with the laptop, right? Ew, but I guess that's I guess that's how it is, right? Ew, they roll in the mud. Their skin comes off. I don't know why why it's flagging mud skin. That's an interesting flag. Like, no, you can't say mud skin on this channel, dude, because that's inappropriate. Yeah, that's really weird that they blind. That's right. And you do, you, wait, do you do pigs, right, Marine Bro? Or no? Who does pigs? Yeah, so, like, I'm thinking, like, the harvester we could rent because we're only going to use it for one day a year. Uh, or one day, a, uh, not a year, a turn. Um, so maybe the harvester is what we rent and then everything else we buy. I was not thinking long term for this Massey Ferguson, but it might have a place in my home. So, I could probably just buy one outright. Because now, if we're going to do pigs, we are going to have to do animal care. It'll be easier to do it with a skid steer, especially the cleaning up portion. It's better to drop that. You said buy a harvester, coward. <laughs> Them's fighting words. Um, what if I don't want to? Maybe I don't want to buy a harvester. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen on YouTube, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Those of you watching on Twitch, hang tight. We're not going anywhere. But uh, we are almost done putting our field together for the first field. We have two fields that we need to make. Maybe three. We'll see. See you guys in the next exciting episode.